All right, Shady Dress Get Ski, and we're going to show you how to perform a continuity test on your stator unit. Now, this will be good for pretty much any of the uh, two stroke uh, jet skis. This particular one is an 800 Yamaha. 1200 is going to be the same. Kawasaki's pretty much the same. But what you've got, uh, and some stators are more than one stage, okay? So they'll have more windings here. Kawasaki has. There's more power stages, more windings, okay? Um, and so you can have a different set go out on one of those. I don't have one of those to show you, but I do have a Kawasaki stator off too. This is a um, Yamaha, and you will notice I use the little Hall Effect magnet to save my spring that goes here from getting lost. That's the goes in front of your... Bendix, you can see I put grease on there. The Yamahas don't have a washer that goes on at the end of that. The Kawasaki's do. I don't know if it matters that much. If it's not there, I just like to put it there if they put it from the factory. So let's get into this. Um, so you've pulled your stator cover. You do not have to pull the cover to perform this test. I need to make that clear. I had this engine out, taking it apart, going through it getting it ready to, I don't even have a jet ski to put it in. I either will sell just the engine or I'll probably just buy a jet ski hull, put this engine in and sell it. But um, you don't have to have the cover off to do this test. And so we'll get into the test in the next part of the Okay, day. so you got your meter hooked up, set to ohms. This one has the beep feature. I've got one probe in, one green wire. And I need to get this other one stuck in this one. And you can hear we've got continuity. We're showing 1.5 ohms of resistance. That tells me that my coil is good. Uh, I want to check for continuity to ground. So then I'll go to my ground wire. Testing that or you know, on the case. Got no continuity. That's what you want to make sure it hasn't had a burned out shorted to your to ground. And then Kawasaki would be the same way, but on a Kawasaki, you're going to have the two, two browns that are that coil to test that coil, and then there's your little Hall effect sensor. You don't get continuity through these wires. Um, I think that's just going to receive a pulse when the magnet spins around, we will pulse it, and this generates electricity. So it's a simple test. Use your magnet to save your spring from getting lost if you don't have a little dish or somewhere safe to put your spring those things bounce all over the place they're very easy to lose and uh you'll have a whole lot of fun finding one <laughs> if you manage to lose that spring but that's how that's it you do not have to pull the stator out of your jet ski this can be on your engine inside the ski and you just pull the wires up out of the electronic module which is a little bit harder to do with the Yamaha because it's a sealed box. The two 12 millimeters, you got to take it off, open it up with all those little eights, and then you can get to the wiring. You would, it, it's, it's, so in other words, it's a pain to get to the wiring. But Yamaha sealed up all their wiring so water couldn't get to it. Kawasaki, they, they have plugs. You can disconnect them. They're there, available in the hull area down toward the back. And it would be checking the two browns for that same continuity, that beep. And that tests the coil, but some of the Kawasaki coils have more windings on the rest of these, on, especially on the older ZXIs. They're, these are going to be wound as well, because they had other power things they were powering with this, is all it was. So it was a, well, like a two-stage, and I think they even make three-stage stators. But um, that's the only difference you're going to see. And so you can run, if, if you have a jet ski with a two-stage stator you can put a three-stage stator on it and tie some of the wires off it'll work i've done it on my 1100 that's sitting outside right now so but if you have a three a two stage and only a single stage you, you that won't work you can go one way but you can't go the other anyway i hope that helps you with performing a simple check to see if your stator is good on your jet ski remember this doesn't have to be out this is just so you you can see what it is and what what's going on in there. Uh, it's the same thing, three hexes holding that in, 
couple you know things here run the wires through with a rubber plug ready to go done enough with this video it's a simple test very easy to do anybody can do it you just got to know which wires to check and that's it thanks for watching shade tree jet ski see you in the next video